Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to use Blender to generate a normal map uh, texture to use in Godot uh, so you can have some really nice uh, bumps uh, and deformities in your meshes. Uh, so I have set up a quite simple scene in Godot just to show you so this is just a very plain ball and what we want to do is to create some deformities in the surface of this sphere and for that we're going to use a normal texture so I'm not going to cover the basics of Godot how to use you know the materials, how to set up a very simple material uh, there are other tutorials for that I'm going to focus only on generating the normal map using Blender so let's go over to Blender where I've set up a very simple scene to render my texture so this is just a orthographic camera with the right scale I have a plane and I'm, generate, I'm rendering a 512 pixels by 512 pixels so if I render you'll see just a square so this is where I'm gonna render my texture I'm using the cycles render I think it's easier uh, I'm not sure if you can do this uh, as the way I'm gonna do it in the blender internal render you can also try but I'm more used to cycles so I'm gonna use cycles for this so there are two ways you can use uh, you can render normal maps in blender one of them is to actually uh, use the topology of the mesh so for example this is a plane so there is there is uh, no normals or, uh, there is just one normal um, but now we can create some deformity so I'm, let me show you I'm gonna subdivide the plane a little bit and then just select a few vertex, vertices and then create some lumps like that okay so now if we render let me shade smooth I still don't see anything so now we have to do the really important stuff we have to go let me split let's go to the node editor now in the scene uh, panel make sure that in passes you have the normal pass activated so we are going to render the combine actually we don't use this because we're not going to render the texture but you can leave it to just to test things out and we want to enable the normal pass so let's go to the uh, to the what do you call this compositing exactly use nodes and then what we want is not the image that is rendered but the normal so I put it here now if I render again I have my normals okay so now I can actually click F3 and save this as map 1 okay and I have my normal now the other way to do it we can leave this on for now the other way to do it if you don't want to use uh, topology like I did here let me let me delete this and I have another plane ready is to use the uh, textures that blender has uh, let me show you how to do that so let's ac activate the render here so we can preview actually this will be better by side by side so like that so let's give a material to this plane and let's render here okay so what I, what I want to do is to create a displacement instead of doing it by topology to create the displacement by a texture again the surface material won't really matter because we're not rendering we're not using the combined pass we're using the normal pass only the displacement will matter okay so if I add now a texture like let's create a um, Voronoi texture okay now I don't see anything here so to test this out is a bit difficult so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually use this to see what's gonna happen to my texture okay so with this on now I can play with it a little bit
and I could actually, you know, even do other stuff like uh, vector math if I want to intensify the blacks or something like that but anyway this is just for demonstration so it's okay now I know this is more or less what I want of course this is not seamless texture, it's not tiling or anything like that, there are other techniques we can go to that later but right now this is what we want so the displacement is coming from this texture which is going to match exactly this so if I render it here is my normal map okay so this is done by the uh, the, f the factor uh, attribute of the texture so let's see if it matches okay so you see yeah it's okay it's a bit more uh, square it looks like it's not so smooth but this is exactly the texture we can try with a different one let's try with a more smooth texture let's see the wave for example let's create some distortions here Add some detail. This is nice. Okay. So now factor and render. So this is a nice normal map. Okay. So let's save this and I'm gonna give it normal map too. So this is how I have my normal maps. Now let's just give it a try. Um, I'm going to import my texture okay so this is the first one here it is and now let's import the second one and here it is so now let's normal loads normal okay and we can already see it whoops no we don't why aren't we seeing this right okay that's it so now I have a normal map okay so the problem was that I was editing the main scene and apparently there's some kind of problem in doing that so I had to come to the scene where the sphere is and then uh, edit my material directly here and now I can use my normal map and my first normal map there it is and there's apparently some kind of glitch in there which I don't know exactly where it comes from but anyway doesn't matter now um, yeah, so that's how you do it, and I'll see you in the next tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to do a cube map, like a skybox for Godot, uh, using Blender. Bye bye guys, and